Hey everybody, it's Rory from a &S Gear. We're upstairs with the Virtue Gambler backpack gear bag right here. So you can use it as a gear bag, you can use it as a backpack. It does have straps on it, so if you want to throw it on your back and hike on out of there, you can do that. If you want to carry it from the end, you can do that too. So uh, there's two colors. We got the Real Camo right here. I think they're calling it Real Camo. They're calling it Reality Brush Camo on that one. And then this one right here, which is kind of the black, this one is just graphic black right there reality brush camo bush camo brush camo and the graphic black right there so let's get into it let's look at this backpack this gambler backpack right here so uh it's a pretty big backpack as far as just footprint goes right here it's a square backpack too a lot of backpacks are kind of big at the bottom and then they taper up when they get to the top this is just big and square backpack all around it does have a pouch on the outside here, it's got elastic around the edges. You can see the elastics running through here. Now this pouch has a cutout in the bottom. So it's a, a real easy place to store a gun. If you wanted to throw a gun in there, you could just drop one inside. So if you've got a gun set up like this that you're ready to work with, or you're maybe in between games, you finished a set, now you gotta move to a different field. You could just take your gun and you could throw it right inside here. The barrel can poke out the bottom and it's gonna hold your, you know, set up right there. Kind of like that. So that's an option for you right there. Or you can put whatever you want inside there. Or you can not put something inside there. But the way the cutout's set up right there, I'm assuming they're wanting you to use that for a gun because your tank, it's not going to really fit out the bottom right there. So I wouldn't try to force that through that way. So it's got an opening there. You can slide your barrel right through. You can have your gun ready to go and easy access on the gun right there. All right. I'm going to just set that off to the side real quick. So let's look around the bag itself. So the bag does have a reinforced bottom right there. It has a nice large carry handle on the top and very, very thick. So if you're going to uh, haul this thing around like a gear bag, not like a backpack, at least you can have something comfortable to hold on to because Lord knows when people start loading these things up, they can to, uh, tend to get a little bit heavy. So having a nice thick carry handle is nice. That pouch on the outside does have a pocket so we can put, you know, thin, small things inside of there. On the outside, we do have one um, accessory pocket, I guess would be the right term for it. We can unzip that pocket, it zips all the way down to there, and then we can open it up and look inside here. So it is hinged on the bottom, right down here. So it does not open all the way, but it opens a decent amount. On the top side, you've got some good padding right here some pretty thick padding going on and then you've got one two just two little sleeve pockets these don't have any zippers in them or anything like that they're kind of just open airy pockets where you can just drop some stuff down inside on the bottom of it you have uh, an open pocket with a little bit of padding in it you've got these looped elastics right here so you could slide stuff inside assuming you could slide barrels down in there and it would hold barrels in place this is definitely not big enough to put pods in so you're not going to be dropping your pods through there but you can loop some barrels in there and have those held in place right there plus you have another slotted uh pocket right here goes deep all the way to the bottom but again no clasp to it no velcro no buttons no zipper no nothing like that on there all right, so that's just like the extra little pocket or section that's on the top. Now, we have the main section of it. We'll get to that towards the end. On the side, and we do have two pockets right here. Little zippery dudes. These are just little accessory pockets on this side. Got another one right here. On the opposite side, you do have a place for a water bottle. You know, whatever that happens to be. You can put you know, some sort of whatever in there bottle probably even fit a tank in there a smaller tank i don't think you're going to fit a 68 inside there but you never know you can always try right let's see if we can fit a 68 in there i don't think we can but i could be wrong hey look at that You fit that down inside there if you wanted to carry your bottle right there i wouldn't go anything bigger than that though that's going to be the biggest there so these are these hstl hk bottles 
Um, for a 68, they're a little bit wide. There are thinner versions right there, so it might work out for you. You can go back here. You can stay right there. All right, so that's what you got on there. But I'm pretty sure they're just assuming you're going to put a water bottle in there of some sort. All right, so let's look at the back side real quick. On the back, we've got nice, thick, padded straps. We've also got a pass-through right here so that you can put this on um, extended luggage handles right there. If you've got a rolling luggage that you want to slide there or your gear bag has an extended handle on it, you could just slide this right through and carry it rather than having to actually hold it by hand or put it on your back. You can slide it through your handles uh, or slide your handle through, I should say, and that will hold onto it right there. There's a couple zippers on the back side right here. We'll talk about those zippers in just a second, but let's open the main compartment of the bag and take a little look-see inside of there. So let's go around. Oh, we do have clasps on the side. If we need to uh, secure the sides at all. Let's pop those open. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we can open it up. Ooh wee, here we go. So on this side right here, we've got see-through plastics right there. So if you need to have some stuff in here that you can actually see what's in underneath there, you can do that. This pocket is cut at an angle. Well, both of these pockets are cut at an angle. I'm not quite sure why. I guess, I don't know, because it looks cool. But we've got a plastic uh, outside to it. Maybe you can put dirty stuff in there, whatever you want to do, or you just need to see through it. You can do that. Then in the main section right here, we've got a pretty large area. But as you can see, there's like these folded pleats inside here, and they are there for a reason. This might not seem like a lot of space right here. I mean, you're probably looking at maybe five inches or so of depth in this main section of the bag right here. But we talked about those other zippers that were there earlier. So if we come back to here and we undo this zipper, this one's going to go all the way around, all the way back to this side over here again. And then it's going to go past where it was zipped right there. And if we do that, it basically allows all those pleats to come undone. And it gives you probably almost double the size inside there again. So a giant space for product right in there, whatever it happens to be. So that's why this can double as a gear bag as well. If you're not gonna rock it as a backpack, you can extend the bottom out and you can make it even bigger. Now that being said, the bottom compartment right here doesn't have any pockets or clasps or elastics or dividers or anything like that. It is just open concept flooring inside of here, but there's a ton of space inside there. So, you know, what do you need to do? Maybe you can fit your other stuff somewhere else. Put your gun on the outside, slide it in the pouch here, and be done. And if you don't need all that space like we talked about, you don't need all this extra space down here at the bottom, we just come back to our zipper, go all the way back around again. Make sure you tuck in the edges there so you don't catch that stuff with your zipper. And now we've just shrunk down the size of that bag by half because you don't need that space. And then if you need to go even further, you can take your clips on the side and you can cinch those down and really combine it down and make it as small as you need to. So kind of a multi-purpose setup right here when it comes to bags, whether it be a backpack that you're using it or you're gonna use it just as a gear bag. But either way, it'll serve a lot of purposes right there. So we've got the Virtue. Ooh, the zipper's fighting me. Hold on one second. Get around there. We've got the Virtue Gambler backpack in the uh, brush camo or just the black graphic. They're available on the website. Pick up yours today at ansgear.com.